टू नो अबाउट द फंक्शन एट फर्स्ट लुक एट द बोर्ड एप मैप्स ए टू बी इज द फांगशन सो क्लियरली ए इज द डोमेन एंड बी इज द कोडोमेन ओके ना लुक फॉर द फास्ट पिक्चर देर आर टू एलिमेंट्स इन द डोमेन सेट देर आर टू एलिमेंट्स इन द कोडोमेन सेट दीज टू एलिमेंट्स मैप विथ वन एलिमेंट ऑफ द कोडोमेन सेट दिस इज अ फांगशन बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फांगशन टू एलिमेंट्स कैन मैप इन टू ए सिंगल एलिमेंट सो दिस इज अ फांगशन एंड दिस इज मेनी टू वन टाइप फांगशन वाई मेनी मोर देन वन एलिमेंट्स मैप विथ ए सिंगल एलिमेंट सो दिस इज नोन एज मेनी टू वन फांगशन नेक्स्ट देर आर टू एलिमेंट्स इन द डोमेन सेट देर आर थ्री एलिमेंट्स इन द कोडोमेन सेट दीज टू डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट्स मैप विथ टू डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द कोडोमेन सेट हियर द एलिमेंट्स आर मैप्ड वन वन सो दिस मैपिंग इज नोन एज वन वन मैपिंग और फंक्शन ओके सो नंबर टू इज वन वन फंक्शन नेक्स्ट द थर्ड वन हियर वन एलिमेंट ऑफ द डोमेन सेट मैप विथ टू डिस्टिंक्ट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द कोडोमेन सेट हुई इज बाई डेफिनेशन ऑफ फंक्शन इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन दिस इज नॉट ए फंक्शन नाउ फॉर द फोर्थ केस देर आर थ्री एलिमेंट्स इन द डोमेन सेट एंड टू एलिमेंट्स इन द कोडोमेन सेट राइट लुक All the elements of the codomain set have pre-images in the domain set. There is no element left in the codomain set, so this type of function is known as surjective function. One-one function is also known as injective function or injective. Okay. so basically we have three types of functions number 1 many to one function if there are two or more elements map with a single element of the codomain set there are one one type function or this is known as injective if to different any to different element can map to different elements of the codomain set then the function is called one one function this is not a function by the definition of function as you can see that one element of the domain set is mapping with two distinct element of the codomain set which is not possible for surjective or onto function all the elements of the codomain set have a pre image in the domain set so there are three types of functions let us discuss about one one function or injective a function a maps a to b is set to be a one one function or injective if for distinct elements of domain set there is distinct elements or images in the codomain set this is the basic definition of one one function that is for x1 not equals to x2 
where x1 and x2 are the elements of the domain set A, this implies f of x1 is not equals to f of x2. Then we say that the function f is 1 1. So basically what is happening? Suppose this is the domain set, this is the codomain set. Okay. Now if there are two distinct elements in the domain set and for these two distinct elements of the domain set you are getting two distinct images of these elements. Suppose this element is mapping with this element and this element maps with this element of the domain set. Okay. So this is the case if this happens that is if x1 not equals to x2 for all x1 x2 belongs to the domain set we have f of x1 is not equals to f of x2 then we say that the function f is a 1 1 function or injective to be a 1 1 function or injective function you have to remember either for x1 not equals to x2 this implies f of x1 is not equals to f of x2 then we say that f is 1 1 or number 2 suppose f of x1 is equals to f of x2 if this implies x1 is equals to x2 for the either cases we say that f is 1 1 example suppose f of x equals to x square and x belongs to real number that is the function is defined from real number to real number now if we take x1 equals to minus 1 then f of x1 is equals to minus 1 square is equals to 1 now if x2 equals to 1 then f of x2 is equals to 1 square which is also 1 look here x1 is not equals to x2 but f of x1 is equals to f of x2 so by the definition of injective function or 1 1 function I, either 1 or 2 must be hold but here we can see that x1 and x2 are different but their images are not different that is in the diagram suppose this is minus 1 this is 1 they together map with 1 so for different image pre images we get a single or same image that's why this function is not 1 1 function right another example suppose f of x equals to x plus 2 where f maps real number to real number what will happen for this function is this function a 1 1 function let's check suppose we are taking x1 equals to 1 then f of x1 will be 1 plus 2 equals to 3 f of suppose x2 equals to minus 1 then f of x2 is equals to minus 1 plus 2 which is equals to 2 look here the pre images are different and consequently we are getting two different images also hence this function is an example of 1 1 function but you have to remember to declare a function 1 1 that is to prove something you have to prove for all the elements of the domain set as well as the codomain set right so basically you have to check for all the real numbers of the domain set as well as the codomain set this is happening or not is if this is true for all the real numbers then we can say that f is 1 1 now check yourself if we put any kind of real numbers here different real numbers we can get different images for this function so we can say that f is 1 1 show that 
if maps are to r where f of x equals to x plus 2 is 1 1 how to show at first you have to check whether this function is 1 1 or not if this function is 1 1 then you have to write like this let f of x1 is equals to f of x2 we are assuming this one if a function is 1 1 what to prove if we take f of x1 equals to f of x2 then we have to show that x1 equals to x2 right so now what is the value of f of x1 the function is defined like this f of x equals to x plus 2 so f of x1 will be x1 plus 2 this equals to what is our f of x2 f of x2 will be x2 plus 2 we can cancel out 2 from both sides so we have x1 equals to x2 look this was our destination we are taking f of x1 equals to f of x2 and we have reached in this step which gives us x1 is equals to x2 right so we can say that f is a 1 1 function this is the procedure how to write or how to prove a function is said to be 1 1 right now another important type of function onto function which is known as surjective function okay a function a maps a to b is said to be on to if all the elements of the codomain set have a pre image in the domain set okay so basically for this type of function codomain is equal to range if we draw the diagram suppose this is the domain set this is the codomain set then by the definition of onto function all the elements of the codomain set have a pre image in the domain set that is suppose there are three elements in the codomain set then there must be a pre image of the elements of the codomain set that is suppose this is the image of this element this element maps with this element of the codomain set and suppose this is um, a pre image of this element suppose there are another element which maps with this element too so there is no element left in the codomain set for this type of function then this function is known as onto function or surjective look for this case we know that all the elements that is collection of all the images of a function is known as range and we know that the whole set is known as codomain right so for this type of function codomain set and range set are equal now example suppose we are taking the signum function which is defined as mod x by x and we can write it 1 when x is positive 0 when x is 0 and minus 1 when x is negative right signum function is defined from real number to real number we know that right now if we draw the diagram look suppose there are negative reals 0 positive reals all the negative reals mapped with 
for the negative numbers negative values of x we get sigma of x equals to minus 1 so all the negative numbers mapped with minus 1 0 is 0 all the positive numbers mapped with plus 1 now look the domain is set of real numbers the codomain is also set of real numbers now what about the rest of the elements of the codomain set there are so many numbers left in the codomain set so by the definition of onto function this is not onto why because for example minus 2 2 4 have no pre image only minus 1 1 and 0 have their pre images right so this is not an example of onto function let us take another example suppose a function f maps n to n that is set of natural numbers to natural numbers such that f of 1 and f of 2 gives us 1 okay and f of x equals to x minus 1 for x greater than 2 now look if we choose the set of naturals as domain as well as codomain look natural number starts with 1 2 3 4 etc similarly 1 2 3 4 etc f of 1 maps to 1 1 maps to 1 2 maps to 1 also now for the x greater than 2 the function is defined as f x equals to x minus 1 so if we take x equals to 3 then f of 3 is equals to 3 minus 1 which is equals to 2 so 3 maps with 2 if we take x equals to 4 then f of 4 is equals to 4 minus 1 equals to 3 so 4 maps with 3 and so on so for the rest of the elements of the codomain set we have the pre images of these elements in the domain set so basically all the elements of the codomain set have the images pre images in the domain set so this is an example of onto function so this function is an example of onto function look at the function very carefully that is basically you look at the diagram look one maps with one and two maps with one also so by the definition of one one function this function is not one one this is not one one okay but this is an example of onto function now bijective function a function is said to be bijective function if it is both one one function as well as it is onto function so if a function satisfies the conditions of one one function and onto function then the function is known as bijective function for example if we take f maps r to r which is defined as which is defined as f of x equals to 2x look x for f of x1 not equals to f of x2 we get 2x1 not equals to 2x2 so basically x1 is not equals to x2 so this is an example of 1 1 function what about 1 2 for all the elements in the codomain set that is real number there is an element in the domain set of real numbers how to write this one let y equals to 2x then x equals to y by 2 now look since y belongs to r that is y is a real number 
so this implies y by 2 is also belongs to r so clearly this belongs to r that is x is also a real number so we can say that this function is also on to function now since the given function is 1 1 as well as on to hence this is an example of bijective function thanks for watching this video please like share and comment and obviously please do subscribe my channel strong math mention your query keep watching thank you